Welcome to the Showman Challenge. What you're going to be doing is you're going to answer my questions, and you have five carnies that will jump in and be willing to assist you. Okay? I have okay. I have a daredevil. I have a fortune teller. I got a bearded lady. I have a strong man. And amongst one of them, one of them doesn't want you to succeed. One of them is a deceiver. That deceiver is going to intentionally give you bad information. Oh, cool. <laughs> so what person is actually trying to make you fail? Now, because depending how you do the first round, I already spoke to the other guy, um, the carnies. Some of them may be willing to come back and help you. But the deceiver might be able to come back and help too, depending how you do. If it really is, these questions are far too hard because I didn't really, I can't really grade this on a curve, as you can imagine. So if they're too hard, we will allow you to ha- bring them back again for a second go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I hope I, I hope I do well. Yeah, I, I really do. But uh... I gotta say, thank you for doing this. Um, this is you are my official second one of of this. I'm kind of excited. Um, someone just messaged me on Discord and I can't open it up because I'm talking to you. Um, but do you have any questions before we get started? Uh, no, I'm just notifying my Discord and I tweeted it on Twitter. So that's what I was Why, thank for you. you. I see that Retro just messaged me. Why? Um, okay. It was related to this. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to get right off the bat. So the first one is general questions. Right, mm-hmm. general questions. Uh, like I know you know what that is. I don't know if you did. You look at all through the last challenge when I did with Ghoul? You know, uh, I, I I skimmed through uh, a while ago, and I vaguely remember some parts, but I think it's just I, I I remember very very little to be completely honest. Okay, well the first round here is just general questions. Right, there's ten questions here. Your goal is very simple: just answer them to your best of your ability. If there is something that gets really close, I may give it to you, I may not. But for the most part, I'll try to give it to you because I try to make sure there's a blank, simple answer for these. Right, but uh, I'll try to lean towards you because I'm worried now that I may have made these too hard. But let's okay. let, let's move on. All right. So question number one, we're gonna kick this off uh, of okay. general questions. How many characters? We're on the original arcade release for the vanilla or base version of Street Fighter 2. Uh, the vanilla version of Street Fighter 2. Okay, so give me a... Can I, can I get a second? Yeah, go, you can or? talk it out with me. I'm totally fine with that. All right, so let me let me use my hands here. I don't want to use any ex- exterior applications. Uh, so I got... You got... Uh, oh, man. Uh, you know, you got Ken, Ryu... You got Chun Li. I think at this point you had Blanca, Guile, Sagat. Oh God, who else is in this? I wanna. I think I have a solid answer of a number in my head, but I want to think about more characters that are in early Street Fighter, like Cammy. I want to say was in. I'm trying to just rifle through all these Street Fighter characters in my head. Uh. I feel like I'm really missing one. I guess like I don't know if Boxer Claw and Dictator Red. Honestly, I'm gonna go out on a on a limb here because I don't want to spend too much time on the first question. <laughs> I am going to say twelve characters. Twelve? Okay. That is incorrect. There's actually only eight characters on the base of vanilla roster of the arcade version. Really? I was going to say eight at first, but yep. I thought that was just the first game. Yeah, so there's Ryu and Ken, right. Chun Li, Blanca, mm-hmm. Zangief, um, Zangief, Zangief, of I forget him. Dalsim, and why am I. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm drawing the blank on the other ones. Um, Guile, and why well, can't I remember the last one? Cammy? No, Cammy was a uh, later edition original i i'm 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 gonna think of it it wasn't one of the bad guys either why can't remember (laughs) i get it's one of the it's one of the new uh cards too the it's one of the original cards i can't remember the the character now (laughs) i should have i probably should have wrote these down honda probably e honda Honda. yeah those were the original eight the later editions added uh the four uh bosses balrog um 
Vega, Sagat, and Bison, and then the additional versions. You know you how there's 972 different versions of Street Fighter. Yeah, 2. yeah. yeah. They, they added Cammy, DJ. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad we don't really do that anymore. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, we kind of do it, but it, that's just not how you release games anymore. Yeah, it's a horrible system. But yeah. all right, still anybody's game. That's only question number one. It's only question number one. Oh, great start, great start. <laughs> yeah. great start. Question number two. This four armed fiend was the Mortal Kombat two sub boss. Uh, what is Kintaro? That is 100% correct. Nice. There we go. We got Let's one on the go. board. That's what we're talking Radio. about, team. That's what 50%. we're talking about. I was, I was like, there's no way it's Goro. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I remember he wasn't in that. All right. Question number three. Who is older, Marshall or Forest Law in Tekken? Marshall or Forest? Oh God! Oh God! I wish I knew more about Tech and <laughs> Law, Lore, Law, Lore, sure. Marshall or Forest? I mean, I mean, you got a fifty-fifty chance here. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Forest. That is incorrect. Marshall uh-huh. is older. Marshall was the original f- Law, uh, and he is the father of Forest. Gotcha. All right. Uh, que- remember, you can call in these uh, lifelines at any point too. T. Um, question number four. Yeah, I just don't think anything would, would know anything about Tekken. Maybe Lumi would know the first question. But oh, they have, the first the question. Um, oh of, they have all the answers. Oh, uh, they have all the answers. They have this whole entire trivia ready to go. So they okay. have the answers. Um, gotcha. Question number four. What was the first crossover announced for Brawlhalla? All right, let's call somebody in then. <laughs> okay, who do you, we have? The strongman. Um, uh-huh. the Daredevil. Actually, let's, let's do it dif- differently. We have Arlo, Lumi, Floki, Freddy, and Retro. Who do you want to bring in? Give me a Luminos. You want Lumi? Okay. Lumi, Lumi, um, are you there, sir? Yes, I am here. Fantastic. Um, T has a question for you. Mm, I see. What is this question, Egress? Uh, who was the first crossover for the game Brawlhalla? What was the first crossover, I guess? Mm, let me consult the spirits real quick. Hmm. In my crystal ball, I see a knight holding a shovel. This is your answer. Shovel knight. That is all the okay. spirits have for me for now. Thank you, Lumi. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Well, that's not the right answer. <laughs> why? <laughs> because why would he be in that game and in Rivals of Ether? That makes no sense. Okay. That's not how licensing works. At least I don't think it does how it works. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know anything about that game. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can't call anyone else. You can if you I, want. If you want to call someone else, then I'm I'm not gonna say no to that. All right, I guess I'm gonna call someone else because I I don't want to I don't want to fall into the negative here. Okay, give, give give me give me Fredward. You want Fredward? Okay. Yeah. Freddy, Freddy, uh, are you there, Freddy? <laughs> yes, I'm here. Freddy, uh, T has a question for you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh. Yeah. So, what was the first crossover for the game Brawlhalla? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You didn't believe the last guy. Why you gotta call me into this? You know. Uh. He's he's a liar and he's a Karen player, so I can't trust people like that. And now he's a grappler player, so. Well, you know. You know what? You you you're you're right on all accounts. He is a goddamn filthy liar. Uh, it's Shovel Knight. Why would it be? Sho- who would say Shovel Knight was? You know what? I'll tell you. I'll tell you who who really is uh, is in this game. It, it's it's our favorite no limbed uh, d- dude, R- the Ray Man. Oh, thank you so much, Freddy. Yeah, I'm here to tell the truth, unlike some other people. Thank you. I, oh, I, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that as my answer. 
I hope that's right <laughs> now. <laughs> One, two people. That. Oh God. Is. Correct. We got another win yeah. on the board. Good, 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 good. Probably should good. be marking this down. Thank you, Freddy. You're, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're a real, you're a real hero and a treasure. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Freddy. We'll see you soon. All right, that is correct. Rayman was the uh, is correct. Um, fun fact, by the way, um, Shuffle Knight is also in Brawlhalla. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> because Shovel Knight's and everything. Me... Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I just... Number five. You ready for number five? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. My Shiranui is on a mission to receive a proposal from whom? Why the other man? <laughs> General, this is general game knowledge. Yes. Oh God, man. Um, you know what? we're gonna call everyone in, in round one because I want to get all that pressure out of the way. I have a feeling uh, just, you're gonna bring the SNK guy in. SNK guy in for this one. Yeah. Uh, let, yeah. Let, let's 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 bring it. Let's bring retro in. Retro. Retro. Are you there? Yes, my friend. How are you? Good. Uh, uh, Mr. T Grass has a question for you, sir. Yes, T Grass. Oh God! What was the phrasing of it? What was Mai's? What, what she's looking for? A my Shiranui. Proposal? Yes. She's what is, what, who is my Shiranui looking to receive a proposal from? It was one of those Bogart boys. I. Which one was it? It. It was the one nobody liked. That dirty Andy. Andy Bogart. Yeah, that that's, that sounds right. Now that he's saying it, I think uh, I think my good friend Retro definitely uh, has the right answer there. And Andy Bogard sounds correct to me. Locked in. That is correct. Andy Bogard is the right answer. Retro, thank you so much for joining us. Bye, my friend. Goodbye. Thank you, Retro. Bye. Okay. <laughs> question. I'm gonna use them early because this is this is rough so far. Question number you six. King of fighters? Question. I try to uh, I try to do all the fighting. Wait till you get to the question number ten. Um. Oh, so God. question number six. This Guilty Gear character is supposedly not, um supposedly does not have a real world musical reference. Real world. God, that's. I'm gonna assume this Guilty Gear character is a is a playable character, not yeah. anyone. Yes, that's it's not, a playable character. Playable. I'll even go to the length that this character's in Strive, for you. That'll help you a little bit. Okay. Hmm. I. They're in strive. Excuse me. All good. Yeah, I uh, I'm, I want to go on. I have like a hunch answer here, but mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right. I also am just trying to like rifle through the character select in my head. Mm -hmm. I am going to say my answer is Anji Mito. Anji Mito. Yes. That is incorrect God. currently at this time we have no official term of a song that biken is connected to or any music that biken is connected mm. to see i i would i would say uh, I was how'd you come to there? angie I, I would go with angie i don't know which song he's connected to but i i, I would i was thinking one of the ninja characters because they're more disconnected from something like that or mm. i feel like they would be mm. and uh I don't know, biking. You got samurais, and the, yeah. you can always trace that back. Dice case probably sit and listen to like pan flute music. Somewhere. <laughs> it's connected that yeah. way. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. All right. So this oh. next question T is up in your world house. Um, this character introduced in Soul Calibur Two was created by the comic book artist Todd McFarlane. Totally my wheelhouse. Definitely. <laughs> First time appearance was Soul Calibur Two. Mm -hmm. You saying? Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Created for Soul Calibur 2. I have an instant pick for a first time character. But now I'm trying to think of uh Soul Edge characters. It's not It's definitely Soul Cal 2. Like, it's definitely Soul Cal 2. Yeah, I'm trying to think of Soul Edge characters that were in yeah. Soul Calibur 2. Um Whatever, I'm, I'm going to guess here. I'm going to tank the first round, and we're going to do better. I'm, I'm going to hope for a passing grade here. I'm going to go with uh, Necrid. That is correct. Necrid is indeed Let's created go. by Todd I McFarland. Wish, I wish they would bring him back. Yeah, you know Todd McFarland's also the creator of Spawn and all, all, uh, yeah. all those games. So that was one of the weirdest crossovers. They put him in the Xbox version, if I'm correct. Dude. Yes, he was the coolest character. He would he was like almost like a Green Lantern character. He would like create like he had like an energy core and would make like weapons out of the energy core and mm -hmm. also had this like sick ass sweep move, I remember. He would like sweep you with his hand. Yeah. I just remember like, like I thought he was like a worst Astaroth, if I'm correct. And I just never played him. <laughs> or, or I'm talking about uh Necrid, of course. Um, yeah, I, I remember that character Schmixon. My brother yeah? also made that character growing up. Yeah, he had that like high low string, and then he had that like really like slow overhead. But I don't know. Yeah. I, and Soul Cal I played 2. a lot against Necrid. Yeah, I, I'm a big I, you and me could talk Soul Cal two for hours. I love that game. It's, it is the greatest game potentially uh, across the board. The remastered version on the Xbox 360 is one of the greatest fighting game releases ever. Yeah. That was actually the first. Drop that game i actually put effort into learning how to play like i actually learn stuff like not just yeah, I messing would, around I, I think i think i would say the same thing for me because yeah. i maybe I melee, I was, but... I was too young to be a tekken 3 kid but but my i, I just picked king in that game because he was uh yeah he's a he's, a, dude, he's a jaguar man. guy yeah <laughs> yeah all right next question number mm -hmm. eight what was the name of the tv show in skull girls that features annie and beowulf just give me Arlo. Just give me Arlo. We're gonna bring in Arlo. Okay. Yeah. Arlo, we're bringing you in. Arlo, Arlo, are you there? Why yes, I am here. I foresaw that I would be brought in. I see. Arlo, Tigress has a question for you. Uh, right. My question is: um, In Skullgirls, what is the name of the TV show that featured Annie in it? Hmm. An excellent question, truly. Allow me to consult my crystal ball. I see... A lot of fortune tellers I... in this carnival. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. I see my own television. I'm very familiar with this character. It was one of my favorite programs. It featured my main in Skullgirls. Annie of the Stars is the title that you were looking for. Annie of the Stars. Annie of the Stars. Mm -hmm. Uh... I, I, so there can only be one liar, correct? That is correct. All right, so it's Annie of the Stars. Okay. Um, that is correct. Annie of the Stars is indeed the name of the television program. Well done, T. I pre appreciate that, Arlo. Thanks. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful program. I highly recommend you check it out. Will do. Glad to help. Well, well thank you. Yeah. We'll bring you back soon, Arlo. <laughs> This, this, this has been a rough one so far. <laughs> I won't lie. I feel like I got stumped pretty early. <laughs> All right. Um, so moving on. N number nine. Who defeated Idol in the original Killer Instinct according to lore? I feel like this can't be a trick question, right? It's got to be Jago. Is that your final answer? Maybe. <laughs> let me let me, pon let me ponder let me ponder my crystal ball here. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Knows nothing of KI lore. Assuming who's the good guys. Hmm. I'm gonna say Jago, but I have a second answer in my head that I probably is going to be correct and it's going to make me angry. But let's just go Jago because he's got to be the main character. He's, okay. he's our Shoto man. That is incorrect. The answer is Orchid. I was going to say <laughs> fucking Orchid! God damn it! Oh. Mm. 
it is what it is, right? It is. Hey, what it it's, is. you're still doing okay. You're still doing okay. It um, is what it is. Question number ten. Oh God, this is the one you said. Who are the final bosses in Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Uh, I'm gonna assume it's one from each genre, each game. I'm looking for both of them. Okay, so I'm gonna say one is Akuma from. from you got half from a point Tekken. so far. <laughs> Akuma from Tekken. Um, Akuma from and... Tekken. You know what? <laughs> he's, I mean, he's a Tekken character, isn't he? Uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's lore in yeah. Tekken. Just saying. Yeah, Akuma from Tekken, and then also from Tekken. Um, let's see, who is a, who would they put as the villain in that game? I don't think they would put it as Heihachi. I remember the cover having Jin on it. Tekken villain. <laughs> Floki hmm. is going to get really frustrated if you get this wrong. <laughs> All right, so we are going to bring him in now. Okay, we are back live. Sorry about that, folks. Is he the strong man? No. Oh, I was going to say, because that would be funny, because he's always so sweaty. Oh, Floki, Floki, so, are you there? Well, stop mashing. If you, if you stop mashing, on, don't, you got a question for me, don't you? You Don't you have a question for me? I know I you're going to get this wrong. I have a question for you. I, I, who, who is the, who's the Tekken final boss uh, oh, in Street Fighter vs. Tekken? Since one has to be Akuma, right? You know, you know who, who, are, who are both of them? How about that? Who are the villains? So, um... <sighs> See, normally I got nothing to lose because I'm sweating all the time, according to T-Grass. Um, so when I tell you a bunch of the, the story mode a couple times, um, I could tell you he's one of the bosses from Tekken 3, if you remember that game a little bit. Um, probably don't. I'm looking at your face right now. Nope. <laughs> it's going to be Ogre and Akuma. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know who Ogre is. That's crazy. You, you know, so. I'm getting I'm getting out of here, bro. I, I can't with you, bro. I, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to mash DP. I'm going to mash DP. You know, mash DP out of this out of this carnival circus <laughs> game show, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, so uh, Honestly, he's... With no outside help, I got to say, I, I just had an epiphany, and I think the answer has got to be Akuma and Ogre. God, that was so easy. I would never need anyone's help to do that. Well, actually, <laughs> that is correct. That is indeed a win. So if I'm looking at this correctly, we got one, two, three... Four, six, five. Right. We had six right. So that's almost a passing grade for the first round. That's it for this week. Check back for part two and three. For those who don't know, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Sunday. Come and hang out. I also have an FGC TikTok account you totally should be following. If you like the video today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Phil, and of course, I'll talk to you guys soon.